So, Betsy, you're the best person to speak to on this because really, when it comes to being parents, we don't know where to begin. This is a different world yeah. that we don't really have access to. We don't understand. It moves as quickly as you cotton on to one thing. And this is the new thing. So this is the letter X game and it's played on Snapchat. So how does it work? Can you explain it to us? So basically, there's a story and that is public. So you'll put an X and you'll put like, our X to be horrible. So everyone can see that. And if you wanted to be horrible about someone, you like send privately to them an mm -hmm. X and then they would give you a name, so you would have to be horrible about a person. Mm -hmm. And they would put that on their story, what you said, but they wouldn't know who said it about So they'd screenshot, they'd screenshot what you said, and then they'd rub out, your, out your, name. your name. So then, they, then they'd post the insult, but you yeah. wouldn't know who it was. So you could go back to so, that person who'd original, uh, originated the ex and say, you would who say, said this, who said yeah, this? But they would have to keep it a secret. So, and, and you saw it uh, and thought yeah. what when you saw it? I just thought it was wrong. I thought that it, they might think it's funny, but it can actually affect people. But you, you were also very brave because you then quite publicly within school yeah. life said, I'm not into this. Mm -hmm. What was the I, reaction? Well, I had a few people messaging me saying that it was the right thing to do. And then a few people kind of ignored it and carried on. Mm -hmm. And then I think it was about one or two people just messaged me saying it is funny though. Because it's, it's difficult, because we've spoken about this, that people follow the crowd, children follow the crowd at school, they want to be part of that in-group. Um, they don't want to be different, actually. The biggest, the worst thing mm -hmm. you possibly do is stand out as doing something different. And in fact, by doing that, you might attract people to say horrible things about you. So it was incredibly brave what you did. Um, have you had any negative reaction? Do you feel like putting your head above the parapet has caused you to have any negative response? No one's messaged me negatively, but I think that the way that it's carried on, it's not that great. And it's it's not just banter, is it? No. I mean, it, it, it can be as cruel and as painful. It was horrific, some of the stuff she was showing me that people were writing. It was like yeah. the words and the description of people. They just pick on anything. If you've got bad skin or your weight or your hair colour or anything that's slightly different that they would probably feel insecure about in themselves, you've then got this going public written about you and it was just like... Oh. And then you see you see that maybe something that you think about yourself, uh, people yeah. attacking your as a teenager your as well, point. you know, when, when you're at your worst with your body changing and you need support and then it's just horrendous how it's just you know, it just overtakes now. So how did you feel then when Betsy, because she came down into the kitchen one morning? Yeah, right? she showed me um, what was happening. She was just in shock and she was just like, Mum, I don't understand. And, and it actually started about her and they'd called her a dumb blonde, which wasn't too bad, but it, it's not acceptable. And she just said, like, I just don't want to be involved and I'm going to tell them. So she obviously did it on hers to say, um, I don't want any involvement and if anybody wants to involve me don't and I think it's disgusting um, and I was just really proud of her because like you say they do follow the crowds you know yes. and as much as you don't want to think it's your daughter doing the bullying it's somebody's daughter and it could be mine um, so I think it was just really important for her to make a stand as she is now you know um, because she doesn't agree with it so I just posted um, I've got a blog um, on Facebook so I just kind of did a post on that and it just went mad it's well what you said on there um, you came into the kitchen and showed me something uh, that had left you upset and confused. I've not been able to stop thinking about it. You couldn't understand why people you know and like were doing this and repeatedly showing me various names and comments whilst in shock at what was being written about them. You wrote on your own Snapchat story telling everyone how disgusting this new game they're playing is. You said how cruel and mean people are being and how you don't want to be a part of it. You stood up to hundreds of teenagers. You've not followed suit or joined in with the crowds. I'm so proud of you. And you got a huge reaction to that. Yeah massive um, because I think it just affects so many people and it's just it's so huge now um, and the internet's so tricky because it you know you get this reaction where it's like take your daughter off the internet because she's too young to be on it and yeah I'd love to do that but actually they then get bullied for not being on the internet because mm. then they're not in with the crowd so I think it's important that they are normal with other children but it's so important that you monitor it and you're you're aware mm. and your children are speaking to you. 